Well, for many of us, snowfall yesterday into today, the first one of note for us here this winter. Marissa Matola is at the web desk tonight with more on how that plays into tonight's Road Patrol segment. Well, thanks, Don. For this week's Road Patrol, we're giving you a behind the scenes look at how the roads are treated and maintained when snow is in the forecast. Our Megan Hudak has more from her ride along with employees with the Division of Highways. When temperatures drop, the Division of Highways keeps a close eye on the roadways. Before snow falls, crews pre treat roads with brine to give it a protective barrier on the surface. And then once the snow starts falling, where you're treating with salt or salt and brine water combination, uh, as the salt melts, then it of course melts the snow or the ice that's on the roadway as it turns into brine water to help clear the roadways for traveling public. Employees from the Tunnel Hill DOH location on Route 50 have four different salt trucks to patrol the four-lane highway from West Union to Lodgeville Road in Bridgeport. If it's if there's actually a storm in progress, it's just an ongoing. It, it's a constant until the storm's over, the snow's moved out, and the roadway's dry and completely dried up for the traffic that's on it. The Tunnel Hill location alone houses 1,200 tons of salt to be used in the winter. And then after the storm is just kind of a cleanup. You know, you're having to watch to make sure your roads dry up so they don't refreeze and keep them treated until the moisture dries off of them. It's important to be cautious when traveling near salt trucks. They typically travel at only 35 miles per hour. Uh, we have keep back signs, uh, keep back 100 feet. We have the slow moving triangles on the back of the truck. Um, but just be aware, you know, we're out there for the public safety uh, as well as everybody else. And we're traveling at slow speeds trying to get the job done. Um, if you can avoid passing and keep a safe distance is the best solution. In Harrison County, I'm Megan Hudock for 12 News. Thanks, Megan. Good advice there. Now, don't forget, if you have a road for us to check on, you could send it to us under the Community tab on WBOY.com.